Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at stamps in Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2 for Nintendo 3DS. To get started, we're going to open up the Tool Chooser by pressing the A button. This lets us, lets us select from eight different brushes available in Butterfly. The third one is the stamp. So, if I want to draw with a stamp, I can select from all the different stamps I've saved previously just by clicking on the Stamp Brush menu. Let's try the heart. So here if I draw, I can draw with a heart. If I want, I can select star, star. And if we want to change the attributes of some of these stamps, we can hit the X button and open up the brush menu. That lets you do things like change the opacity, transparency of the brush. You can change the size to make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. Uh, you can change it so that it rotates as it draws, maybe not so fast. Okay, now what if we wanted to make our own stamp though? Well that's also very easy. You just open the tool chooser and then you press the plus button next to the stamp brush menu. Here we have the option to draw a new stamp, modify the stamp we're using now, or make a new stamp from the clipboard. So let's start by drawing a new stamp. I'm going to select black and then just draw sort of a cat face maybe. All right, and I, I want it to be more than just an outline. So I'm going to select white and then underdraw and raise up my size. So now when I draw, I'm actually drawing underneath what I just drew before, thanks to that underdraw toggle. Okay, I could be a little sloppy about it, but it's okay. Hit the check mark when we're done and we'll say yes, keep this stamp and we'll give it a name. And now the brush appears at the top of our list of stamps. Okay, if we go back to the animation, start it playing again, and we draw, and there's our stamp. Now notice I drew the stamp in white, and I did that for a reason, and that's because stamps are tinted with whatever your current color is, and when you draw with white, then the tint is basically matches the exact color that you select. So, for example, if I select kind of a dark green, then when I start drawing the stamp, it'll have that green. If I select red, then I get red or orange. Okay, but that doesn't mean that stamps have to be only white. Let's try modifying this stamp and using uh, more than one color. So we'll open up the tool chooser, hit plus, and say modify current stamp. So here's our stamp. And now I'm going to get sort of a yellow-orange color. And I'm going to draw sort of a circle around this. Okay. Hit yes. Keep this stamp. We'll call it Cat Head 2. Okay. So now, if we go back, if you look at the brush menu, you can see that the orangey sort of halo is being tinted by a current color. It'll be clearer if I choose like a blue color. There, what was white in the original stamp is now the blue that I've chosen, and what was yellow is now that yellow being tinted with blue. So yellow and blue mixed together make green, as you know if you were paying attention in art class. So that's some fun with stamps. Now let's take a look at one more thing and that is making a stamp based on something you've cut from the screen. So to do that, what we're going to do is select the Select Tool and this lets us outline an area of the screen and then copy it or cut it into a clipboard. Then we go back to the Stamp Brush hit the plus button and we say we want to make a new stamp from what's in the clipboard. So here we have a stamp and it's all that stuff that I just copied off the screen. 
we'll say keep this. Let's call it mishmash. And now we have a stamp that is basically just all the stuff that I copied from the screen. You can see there. And I can draw with that. So that's basically a look at stamps in Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2. Check out some of the other tutorials for more techniques.